It was the third visitor from beyond our stars. 3. I. Atlas. But as it entered Mars's orbit, the readings turned strange. Telescopes just confirmed the impossible. The comet's brightness is spiking wildly. Its unusual chemistry is venting. And now, the single object is multiplying. Is it fragmentation? A gentle breakup? We'll break down the new data from Hawaii and Chile and reveal why this alien traveler is tearing itself apart. In this video, we'll break down the newest findings about 3i Atlas, the interstellar object now entering Mars' orbital neighborhood. You'll see what telescopes in Hawaii and Chile just spotted, why astronomers think these objects are multiplying, and what the leading hypotheses are, from fragmentation to gravitational capture. By the end, you'll know where the data point and what questions remain open. How 3i Atlas entered the scene. Few expected another interstellar visitor so soon after Oumuamua and Borisov. Yet telescopes now confirm 3i Atlas is on a final pass near Mars. Its arrival marks the third confirmed object of this kind drifting into the inner solar system, each carrying signatures of a different stellar nursery. When the first detections were logged in early July 2025 by the Pan-STARRS network, the data looked ordinary at first glance. A faint, fast-moving smudge on stacked images, barely distinct from background noise. But once orbit calculations came back, its path told a very different story, one that began far beyond the sun's grasp. An object is labelled interstellar when its orbit isn't closed like a loop around the sun, but instead hyperbolic, meaning it forms an open curve. In plain terms, the body moves so fast that solar gravity can't pull it back, revealing that it came from another star system. The consensus view is that 3i Atlas followed this trajectory from deep interstellar space, having crossed the outer reaches of the solar system months before being noticed. Its measured speed exceeds what would be possible for an object bound by the sun's gravity, confirming its independent origin. Hyperbolic velocity simply means that the object's speed is higher than the so-called solar escape velocity. At first, Atlas appeared to be a single faint comet. Early brightness readings placed its apparent magnitude, astronomy's scale for visible brightness, around 19, meaning it was thousands of times dimmer than what the human eye can see unaided. The faintness, combined with a high angular velocity across the sky, gave tracking teams a challenge. Its position shifted quickly between exposures, creating streaked trails on detector frames. Every observatory involved needed to adjust exposure times and coordinate timing down to the second to lock onto it reliably. The Atlas survey team quickly noticed something else. The brightness did not stay constant. It varied more than expected from rotation alone, hinting at a possibly tumbling nucleus. Later measurements estimated a slow spin period, over 20 hours, with an irregular wobble known as non-principal axis rotation. That kind of motion often results from past collisions or uneven internal structure. The motion also complicates forecasts for dust and gas release, since sunlight strikes the surface in constantly changing angles. Orbital data indicate that Atlas will sweep through the same region of space where Mars travels, though not close enough to pose a collision risk. Even so, the intersection draws special interest. From Mars's vantage point, both orbiters and ground-based assets can get unique angles for spectroscopic observation. That's the measurement of light at different wavelengths to identify chemical composition. A recent ultraviolet scan by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, for instance, caught an abrupt brightening event that doubled its output in just over a day. That behavior suggests volatile materials, possibly carbon dioxide or other frozen gases, venting from fresh surface fractures 
as solar heat reaches new layers. Comparing Atlas with earlier interstellar visitors helps refine expectations. Oumuamua showed a dense rock-like texture and lacked obvious gas emissions. Borisov looked and acted like a standard comet. Rich in water ice, Atlas deviates from both. Spectral readings show an unusually high ratio of carbon dioxide to water vapor, about 20 times greater than typical cometary values, and detectable nickel without corresponding iron. The mainstream interpretation is that it formed in a colder region of its home system, where carbon-based ices condensed more readily. An alternative hypothesis suggests it lost lighter materials over billions of years in interstellar transit, leaving behind a chemically unusual mix. To verify its interstellar status beyond orbital mechanics, astronomers used parallax, which measures how its position appears to shift from different points on Earth. These multi-observatory observations confirmed the extreme distance and trajectory. Each dataset reinforced the view that Atlas is an authentic visitor from outside the Sun's gravitational neighborhood. Its close approach to Mars opens a brief but valuable window. From ground telescopes in Chile and Hawaii to instruments orbiting Mars, Dozens of teams are now preparing coordinated observations to analyze both the motion and composition of its tail before it turns sunward. Yet just as plans solidified, new high-resolution images hinted at something unexpected emerging along Atlas' path. More than one object moving in concert, as if pieces were drifting free from the original nucleus. The Mystery of Multiplying Objects Observers noticed something startling. The light curve of 3 I atlas, meaning the graph that tracks its brightness over time, began showing sharp, irregular spikes. Soon afterward, telescopes captured faint yet distinct points appearing beside the main body. What started as a single moving speck became a small cluster, drifting together through space. The ultraviolet data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter showed a rapid brightening that nearly doubled in just over a day, followed by a separation in the comet's tail. Dust streams began moving in slightly different directions, giving visual evidence that the object's structure was changing in real time. In astronomy, a light curve can reveal far more than mere brightness. When a comet's light fluctuates unexpectedly, it often signals fragmentation, in plain terms, that means chunks of the original nucleus are breaking apart, or clouds of debris are trailing behind. The sudden surges seen in Atlas light curve don't align with the patterns of water-driven gas jets. Instead, they suggest deeper pockets of frozen carbon dioxide or other volatile chemicals venting as sunlight warms new surface areas. Sublimation the direct shift from solid ice to gas, can act like a slow, internal explosion, carving out cavities and pushing fragments away. Not all researchers agree that these signals confirm true breakup, though. A central debate has formed around what the multiplying objects actually represent. One interpretation is that they are solid fragments traveling on parallel paths, each reflecting sunlight individually. Another idea is that we might be viewing clumps of dust and gas condensed along the orbit, rather than separate bodies. A smaller camp remains cautious, proposing that background asteroids or even faint stars could line up by coincidence, creating a false pattern of duplication in processed images. Still, the newest data from observatories in Hawaii and Chile deliver strong evidence for shared motion. Each faint point moves at nearly the same velocity vector and angle relative to the stars, which supports a physical connection between them. When objects share both direction and speed to that degree, the simplest explanation is that they split from the same parent. The fragmentation hypothesis therefore holds that volatile ices inside Atlas are turning to gas as it warms near the Sun and Mars forcing the nucleus to rupture under internal pressure. 
a competing hypothesis involves gravitational interaction. Some scientists have suggested that tidal forces from either Mars or the Sun may have tugged smaller material clusters into slightly offset orbits. Such stretching could draw debris apart without total disintegration, producing a formation of co-moving particles. Yet these gravitational effects are subtle at Atlas distance, so the evidence currently supports direct breakup due to internal stress rather than external pulling. Experts remain careful in their interpretation. Ground-based images are limited by resolution and faint targets are prone to misleading results. Even minor electronic noise or image processing steps can amplify one dim signal into several faint dots. There is also the possibility that what seems like new fragments might actually be detached plumes of dust. That's why multiple observatories continue re-imaging the same region nightly, cross-validating each other's data to ensure consistency. There are historical precedents for such events. When Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 fragmented before colliding with Jupiter, observers documented at least 20 distinct pieces strung along its orbit. Clear proof that large bodies can split under stress. Likewise, Comet 73P slash Schwassmann-Wachmann has shed fragments several times in recent decades, leaving separate pieces with their own miniature tails. These examples show that cometary fragmentation, while visually striking, is not unusual in environments of strong gravity or solar heat. The consensus now forming is that 3I Atlas is undergoing a genuine breakup. We may be witnessing an interstellar object disintegrating as it experiences surface heating unlike anything in its original home system. The process exposes new material for study while shortening the time available for observation. Mars-based orbiters are now adjusting planned scans to capture spectra of the fragments before they swing behind the sun, hoping to determine whether each piece carries the same chemical fingerprint as the original nucleus. Conclusion 3. I-Atlas, officially catalogued as C slash 2025N1, is proving that interstellar objects can be far more delicate than early models predicted. Its unstable motion, rapid outbursts, and unusual carbon dioxide dominance reveal how fragile these visitors are when exposed to solar heat. NASA's Planetary Defense Office and ESA's telescope networks will continue monitoring its fading trail as it departs after perihelion on October 29th. Instruments like JWST and the Rubin Observatory are already refining its chemical data. Each interstellar traveler, no matter how briefly observed, adds new evidence of how matter circulates between star systems, reshaping our story of cosmic exchange.